Hi guys, welcome back to Replace SG and today we have another unboxing for you guys and this is Rolling Witchcraft. So this is a game by AEG and designed by Eric Anderson and illustrated by Reberson Santiago. So yeah, it's a very interesting artwork. So quite similar to um Avalon Crest or Crest. Yeah, I can't remember the full name of the game. But yeah. So yeah, this is a uh Kind of like an order fulfillment kind of game, which actually involves like um all the different ingredients and trying to craft your recipes, and yeah. So as you can see, this is a kind of rich team kind of game, and this was actually a Kickstarter if I'm not wrong that was fulfilled um somewhere around this year. So um I haven't really looked into it, but uh basically the gist of the game would be more or less to pass your cauldrons around and grabbing cubes from them and then filling up uh, this uh, player sheet and then trying to fulfill some orders but I think in the meantime you can kind of like um, grab your opponent's ingredients or something like that so that's what I vaguely remember so again I didn't get this game uh, this game was actually part of a Christmas exchange that I got so yeah that's pretty interesting so let's get opening Okay, so once again, this is Rolling Witchcraft, and let's see what's inside. Okay, nothing much at the back, and set this aside. Okay, so we are greeted with firstly the blue book, and yep, some cardboard as well. So over here, you can see okay the game contents and how to assemble our cauldrons. So there should be about at least four cogents, I think. And so here we have the component anatomy, which is the player boards, um, the recipe cards, and the personality cards, which I think is kind of like a player uh, ability, and some setup, as well as round phases. So you have the study phase, the brewing phase, passing the cogents, and checking for winners. So, if any player has five or more ingredients in their reach circle, they win the game. If no player has won the game, continue. So yeah, five cauldrons to win. I mean, five ingredients to win. And some uh, card clarifications. And the credits at the back. Again, not very useful. Um, I think credits could have been done in the second last page. And again, the icons and stuff that's at the back. I think that's a better way to organize it. But that's just me. So here we have, yeah, we have four of them. We have some, oh, sorry, five. Oh, so this is actually a two to five players game and plays for about 30 minutes for ages 14 and up. So we have some tokens here that are very misaligned. So let's uh, punch one out. Um, quality is okay. Um, the cardboard itself feels a bit um, dry kind of feel. And uh, the back is fine, you can see it's well centered, but the front is uh, way off, which is not very good. And yeah, it's a kind of a you know, standard uh, component. It doesn't really flex, it has a bit of squish, just a tiny bit. Yeah, but otherwise, the printing is quite bad on this. But yeah, this is the punch pot, and we have some quadrants here. So they should be relatively easy to set up and assemble. So and it's your uh, linen finish. Yep. And let's put this back. Okay. Okay, so we have five coordinates here and some simple, um, very simple uh, inserts mostly for your cauldrons and yeah that's 
good and some sort of tree or caddy here and a very simple cubes so once again it's a very uh it looks like to me a very simple game and components are quite straightforward as well i don't think the rules are very uh, lengthy or uh, very complicated so again we have some baggies here and this should be our regular um, wooden kind of components which represents our ingredients not sure if you call it ingredients yeah because they said five ingredients and win the game but i was thinking like you make something out of ingredients and you have five of that something so yeah maybe let's uh, try to take each and every one out so nothing special here just letting you guys see what, what does the component look like up close because that's what we do here see Okay, so one of each color we have red, uh, white, black, um, some sort of um, a dollar kind of green, which I think is a frog, and a blue. So you can see there are standard uh, wooden cubes. So nothing too special here. So let's put them back into their bags. Okay, so yeah. So let's take a look at these. So oh, I thought they are folded, but they are not. So basically, it's just five um, for each of the um, players. So yeah, I'm not too sure if I don't think there's any color coordination to this. But basically, you just kind of uh, I think even even the cauldrons are kind of passing it around. So there's no really player colors here. So the colors here are most likely for your ingredients. So I think maybe what they meant is like fulfilling like five, completing five of these ingredients. So yeah, again, I'm not too sure about that, but yeah, basically it's very nice here. It's kind of your linen finish as well. Very simple, simple game and it's a bit of a, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. A little sticker kind of uh, comes off to the side a little bit, yeah, but otherwise uh, good quality solid and yeah overall actually the artwork is very nice and the colors is quite poppy as well so yeah everything is pretty much the same including the tracks uh the number of squares for each tracks the same and yeah again the artwork is really nice i like the colors on it and this is like the more bluish one and the more greenish one here so we have five here one for each player so just zip all this up okay so yeah let's go on to the cards so again very simple very little components here okay again interesting card uh, I thought they might use uh, linen finish, but from the from the reflection, you can see that it's not. It's a uh, smooth and kind of waxy feel to the cards. Uh, the card quality is fine. It's it's not like the best, but it's not flimsy either. So yeah, it's not very thick, but it's not. Uh, it's thin, but it doesn't like feel flimsy, which is good. So we have some of these which is initiate. Let's see over here. Okay, so yeah, these are initiate cards. Before choosing a recipe, discard this card, discard your hand and draw four new ones. So I guess they are like one for each player. And these are all the same at the back. Maybe kind of like a starter ones, uh to kind of kind of get you going. Then after that you can kind of pick your own character or something. So we have let's see how many we have. 
Yeah, so these are basically personality cards. So maybe like how many you start with, that kind of thing. So yeah, these are the personality cards. And we have quite a few here. So maybe let's put them here. So this is, yeah, this which of all traits. So this is a special thing that we get after you have produced ingredients. And you have at least one of each type of ingredients in your, in your cauldron. Take one ingredient from your cauldron and place it in your witch circle. So this circle is supposedly this one. And once per turn you may spend two of these to trigger this effect. So yeah, so those tokens are actually effects. So you have a hand size of five. Otherwise it's just four, I think. Maybe it rotate any card when you play it. A recipe you may choose from your hand at random. If you do, you may trigger an uh, any arcana effects. So these are the different uh, ingredients that you start with, I'm guessing. So we have a total of six that you can choose from if you don't want to go with the uh, standard ones. So here we have some, oh these are again one for each player. This is Arcana. One, two, three, four, five, six. And also this is also like a, a player aid. So which tells you the study phase and the brewing phase. So yeah, five, one for each player. And then we have all the recipe or what do you call it? Yeah, the recipe cards. So yeah, it's all of it. And we have this back here and some of this. Mm, interesting. So this Frog Whisperer. I think they start off with this uh, in recipes in their hand. Yeah, because these are all like related to them, I guess. Similar artwork. So these I suppose like four frogs and you get something. And three whites you get a five blues. So there's another special effect here each turn. Before playing a recipe, you must take three ingredients of a single type of a choice and place them on your workbench. Interesting, nothing but you get that too. Okay, so let's go on to the Amos, the general deck. So these are the bags, quite nice. Okay, let's see. So yeah, these are the more standard ones. So we have some icons here as well. Maybe you are getting these or you need to spend this. Either one. So I'm going to very quickly go through this. So some have this, but some is an arrow, which is interesting. Yeah. I suppose maybe this means like kind of exchange, but this means you must pay this to get this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just guessing. I have no idea why do we need numbers down here. Interesting. So yeah, okay, nothing too much to say about this. We do have some random icons popping up. But I suppose uh, you get them. Yeah, so it's again, so far from the components and everything, it looks pretty uh, simple. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so that's it for all the cards and pretty much all the other components. So let me get on to the sleeve test and let's see what kind of size this uses. Okay, so again, not too much of a surprise. It's using 63.5 by 88 millimeters. Again, this is by Sleeve Kings and it's 60 microns thick and quite a bit of leftover here actually. So yeah, but this is the best size for it. And again, not much things to say about the insert, but you will probably be able to fit everything inside here. Yeah. And yeah, basically that's it. So once again, if you guys like this video, do, do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below as I bring out more unboxing videos. And otherwise, thanks for watching and catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.